Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to be designing um, a football poster for Erling Haaland. Welcome to Manchester City. Welcome to Manchester City. We are going to design it in Photoshop. But before then, a lot of you guys are going to subscribe to this channel about 90 something percent, about 98 percent or 90 something. Very high amount of people are watching my videos and you don't subscribe. So Without, before we go further, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you for subscribing now. And let's get straight into the video. So, we're going to be creating this football poster. So, first of all, we create a new document and going to create it. We're going to click on the custom. This thing I've already received before, easily before. The width 18, 1080 by 1350 is landscape orientation and 300 resolution. White background, I'm going to click on create. The best control zero to fit the screen. I'm going to clear the guide, click on view, and then click on clear guides. Then, well, first of all, I'm going to unlock this background layer, it's not necessarily sharp. But I'm going to click create, create gradients, then we are going to create gradient. The first color here is 6BACDF. Alright. Then the second color, I'm going to change it to 44FAD. 44FAD. Alright. I'm going to increase the opacity to 100% here. All right, I'm going to change this one to radial. I'm going to increase the scale to 155%. Okay. All right, so click on OK. Then we're going to drag in our, our dust texture here. Our dust texture here. Link in the description below our grudge texture. We'll add it here. Add it here and scale it, hold it to scale it, scale it, and change the blend mode to vivid light and reduce the opacity to 25%. 25%. All right, 25%. Then we're going to type in our text, our text, welcome in caps all caps welcome welcome and the size for this text is 111 i'm going to screw this text the color of the text is zero zero e three e seven c i'm going to screw this text let's control t on the keyboard then Click on screw, then this V here, this V here, or to change it to minus 10.5, minus 10.5, okay. Then I'm going to hold Alt on our keyboard and drag to duplicate, hold Alt and drag on our, on our keyboard to duplicate. So I'm going to go to select these three layers, select these three layers. And hide, hide all of them. So, what we're going to do now? We're going to bring in our dox texture. Let's open it. Let's bring them over. And we're going to bring in our dox texture. Place it on top of this. And I'm going to scale it to the largest. Then I'm going to um, transform it. We'll add minus to the sign to the W there. And we we'll leave it like that. So we'll click on OK. Then we're going to change the change the blend mode of this dust textures to screen the screen and change the opacity to 40% to 40% or 35%. And let's just stick with 40%. Alright. So what we're going to do next, we're going to bring in our Man City logo. I'm going to place it here. I'm going to transform it to 40%. 40%. Okay. 
here. I'll make sure it's here. Then we're going to add in curves here. We're going to add a little bit of curve. And we're going to take the mid toes down a bit. Take the mid tone down a bit. Okay. Make sure this is centralized. Right. Then we're going to add in ingredients. Ingredients here. Go to add in ingredients. Go to change the angle to minus one seventy six point twenty five. Point twenty five. We change the change the color to 6B A C D F click on OK I'm going to remove this color I'm going to delete it click on delete here now we're only having that color we click on OK then we'll change the blend mode of this to screen and we have that now we're going to bring in our picture of our starman here Ellen Harland and place it here so automatically you don't need to make any change to it all right then what we do what we need to do here is we're going to change we're going to add some curves so that it can the light lighting can blend you can the lighting of him can blend to the picture so we're going to add some curves i'm going to add curves click on curves here then we're going to clip it to the layer below then we're going to reduce the shadow this is the shadow the shadow we're going to reduce the shadow i'm going to increase the highlights increase the highlight all right let's check out this one that we did before so we just reduce the shadow and increase the highlight keep it keep it shadow Shadows here. Take it. I'm going to click on gradient map. I'm going to add gradient map to it. I'm going to click on this gradient map. I'm going to add one color at the end. This represents the shadow. I'm going to add our shadow color here. O B zero B two A four four O. This is our shadow color. Click on OK. Go to add our. Go to add another 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 icon here. Location 50. Go to add a new color here. Go to add it. Our mid tone color 0. 1037C. Alright. Click on OK. We're going to add our highlight color here. We're going to change it to 9 FC 8 E 5 8 E 5 click on OK click on OK and we're going to change the opacity of this to let's look at what we did here 20% change the opacity of this to 20% 20% alright 20% okay now I'm going to add another gradient to this add another gradient to this I'm going to add the gradient and the gradient the opacity the angle is 3.41 then the scale is 100 then the gradient the, the color for the gradient is 15 377F. I want to remove this color. I want to delete this color. Delete it. Delete it. So click on OK. Here. Then I want to change the opacity of this to soft light. To soft light. Okay. So it blends with this and this. So our design is almost getting set. Let's change this to, let's add a little bit of 
of size to this make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to change the, the position of this all right all right our picture is getting into into comprehension I'm going to bring in another, another of our image I'm going to bring this eye stock photo here it's our smoke effect here I'm going to scale it up scale it up here I'm going to change the blend mode to to screen. I'm just going to change it to screen. All right. So it's coming up. 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 Then we're going to add our text. No, no. Add our text. Before we add our text, we're going to add shadow here to the back of him, so that it doesn't look that it looks a little bit realistic. The shadow, like this one, has shadow here. Add a shadow here, so it looks a bit realistic. So, where is the original document? I want to click on this, I want to click on this piece here, I want to make it dark, a bit dark, it was black. Duplicate now, I want to create a new layer here, Control Shift plus N, create a new layer. Limit shadow, shadow just beneath the character, the main character. Here, we'll click on our brush to click on B to bring activate our brush to brush is too big. I want to use the, the angle button to reduce the size of the brush. And I'm not going to add shadows here, I'm just going to touch, 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 touch this here. All right, this brings our shadow here. Let me reduce the size here. Still too big. All right. So that brings the shadow here. Yes. And let me reduce the size of the shadow a bit and move it here. All right. With the mistake, Control T. We can move it here. All right. I'm going to change, reduce the opacity a bit. Reduce the opacity a bit. And let's leave the opacity at 90. So this shadow creates something, creates a sense of, of realisticness here in the system, in the design. So we're going to add I'm going to add our our text all over our text. Let's lock this one so that it doesn't interfere with it. This one doesn't interfere with it. I'm going to add our text here. Well, let's just hide this one. It doesn't interfere with it. I'm going to write his name out in full caps. Um, let's take this up. Take this to the top. Change the opacity to white. Size to be 18 to 21. I'm going to bring it here. Okay, now we can activate these layers now. Okay. As you can see, we're almost getting there. A limb. I'm going to give it a bit of space. A bit of space. In. Let's give it five percent tracking. Then 
Alan. Okay, paragraph to this side. Select everything, paragraph to this side. Okay, now we're going to increase this. This. Alan. To be big. Make it big. Adjust the layer here. All right, this is what we have here. We will leave this here. I'm going to add a bit, a bit of shadow to this one here. We could chop shadow. We to reduce the opacity to about nine. Now I'm going to add. I'm going to add curves to this. I'm going to add a bit of curve to this to balance the image. To have curve, I'm going to reduce the shadows. Take the shadows down so that the shadows will be more prominent. Yes. So I think we should leave this side up here. All right, so here, what, here is what we have here. Here's what we have. This, and we have this. So no quite difference. There's no quite difference here. Only a few changes. So thank you very much. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope to see you soon in my next tutorial. Thank you very much. Do well to subscribe, and see you later. Gracias.